the diameter d of a cylinder is measured as 0.0125 meters plus minus 1.6 percent so this is the uncertainty in the diameter calculate the absolute uncertainty in this measurement now the absolute uncertainty is given by this uncertainty percentage multiplied by the value the actual value so that would be 1.6 divided by 100 multiplied by 0 0.0125 meters so the absolute uncertainty in the measurement is 2 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meters next the cylinder in a stands on a horizontal surface the pressure p exerted on the surface by the cylinder is given by this equation the measured weight w of the cylinder is this and its uncertainty is also given calculate the pressure p so first of all, we just want to calculate the pressure P. So P is equal to 4 times W. W is the weight, which is 0 0.38 newtons, divided by pi and D squared. What was D? D was 0 0.0125 meters from here. This gives you the pressure P as 3100 newtons Per meter square so that's 3100 next we want to compute the absolute uncertainty in the value of p so again p is 4 times w divided by pi uh, d squared so this was uh, squared before right so you have pi d squared now to compute the absolute uncertainty we Ignore all the constants and the, all the variables, we add them. So the, absol uh, the absolute uncertainty in the value of P, first we need to compute the percentage uncertainty in the value of P, which is, so we are going to ignore all the constants. 4 is a constant, pi is a constant. W plus 2 times, we bring the power down and D. So again these are the uncertainties so let me write it down as percentage uncertainty in w and two times percentage uncertainty in d this gives you so the percentage uncertainty in w is 2.8 percent so 2.8 plus two times the percentage uncertainty in d which was 1.6 percent so you multiply it by 1.6 and this gives you about 6%. So that's the percentage uncertainty in the value of P. We want absolute uncertainty in the value of P, which is just the percentage uncertainty in P times the value of P itself, which is 6 over 100 into 3100 newtons per meter squared which gives you 190 newtons per meter squared.